There are plenty of amazing rocket builds, and this video is going to showcase some of the best amateur rockets ever created. So stay tuned and let's begin the top 10 countdown. A few of us have heard about the original V2 from World War II. It was the first long range guided missile, which had a fearful purpose, but thankfully it was completely inaccurate. We skip forward a few years and look at one of the most impressive replicas of the V2 rocket. This colossal 400 pound V2 rocket model was built by two crazy amateurs and it has one powerful O and two N motors. It's one of the more powerful amateur rockets out there with 15,000 pounds of force and it fortunately does not carry any warheads or explosives. At number 9, the perfected Phoenix 4. Kurt Delius is known in the community for building state of the art rockets. His epic two stage rocket exhibits virtually no friction or tip off during its critical separation. There is a little bit of mystery on how this rocket was actually built, but its exit cone is built out of 18 layers of carbon fiber, and it has a unique airbag type of deployment for its parachute. The Phoenix is impressive and is capable of going over 200,000 feet, and maybe even setting a world record. So Kurt definitely puts my rocket bill in the shame, and I'm sure he'll build more amazing stuff in the future. At number 8, the epic Heroes 3 rocket. A student team from a German university built a really epic hybrid rocket which shattered world records. The rocket motor uses a mixture of nitrous oxide and wax and it propelled the heroes to over two times the speed of sound. Now reaching 100,000 feet is a pretty big accomplishment and I give huge credit to the student team. And I don't think this type of hybrid record will be surpassed anytime soon. Unless the team actually builds a fourth generation cutting edge model and breaks more records. At number 7, the Dark Shadow. Air Command Rockets has mastered the art and challenges to building water rockets. And although reaching 1700 feet may seem a little bit trivial, it's actually a huge achievement for water rocketry. The key to the rocket is that it has a pressure chamber which is built out of carbon fiber and it can withstand over 600 psi of pressure. The Dark Shadow achieved the speed of over 259 miles per hour and it broke over 49 g's of acceleration. And to top this all off, the rocket is 100% reusable. At number 6, the towering Saturn V rocket model. Steve built one of the tallest and heaviest amateur rockets. It's a 1 tenth scale replica of the real Saturn V, and it produced over 40,000 pounds of thrust. The impressive rocket was over 36 feet tall and it weighed over 1,600 pounds, so it no doubt brought some nostalgia back, and it exemplifies the balance between weight and force. The behemoth carried over 8 N-class motors surrounding one powerful P-class motor. But even with all that power, it only reached 4400 feet. And I just hope Steve shows us amateurs up once again and builds another Saturn V. At number 5, the Guided Sapphire Rocket. To reach orbital space, you'll need more than just raw power, and the Sapphire is one of the few amateur rockets which can actually steer its way into the sky. It has an impressive navigation and thrust vectoring system, which locks the rocket onto its trajectory. And the system relies on a 3-axis accelerometer and gyroscope, so when it comes to accuracy, the Sapphire will go exactly where you want it to. And to be honest, this is pretty much a guided missile, and let's just hope that North Korea will never get their hands on this thing. At number 4, the Incredible Dart Project. If you like building homemade rockets, then you've probably heard of the magical Rocket Candy Fuel. It's a rocket propellant which can be pretty much made by anybody, and it's a mixture of sugar and potassium nitrate. So it's one thing to get a rocket to go a few thousand feet, but the Dart Project is one of the most impressive sugar rockets I have ever seen. It reached a staggering altitude of 57,000 feet, and if that's not crazy enough, the creator is building another two-stage rocket which will reach 100,000 feet. At number 3, the Vulcan Dash 1. A student team from the University of San Diego created a really powerful 3D printed rocket engine. The incredible 3D printed engine is liquid fueled and it has a thrust of over 750 pounds of force. Towering at over 20 feet, the rocket reached into the sky and set a world record for universities. It also symbolized the progression of 3D printing and how the technology can actually be the key to affordable space travel. 
there are tons of rocket companies which are already jumping on the 3D printing bandwagon. So I think it's going to be really exciting to see a new evolution in rocket manufacturing. At number two, the Quake Rocket. This Q-powered rocket was really epic, and just like the video game, it also set a new frontier in its field. The Quake produced over 4,000 pounds of thrust for eight seconds, and it reached an altitude of over 121,000 feet. At this extreme elevation, your blood would basically boil and you'd freeze within seconds, so it's really fast and really high but you're still not quite reaching space. The rocket was intended to capture a $5,000 prize, but it did not get the award due to a GPS tracking error. And I'm sure the rocket costs more than that to build anyways. So we finally reached number one, the Go Fast Rocket. The mind-blowing GoFast set world records as the highest and fastest amateur rocket ever launched. It even surpassed the Kármán line which is 330,000 feet and it represents the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and outer space. The rocket reached its altitude by hitting a top speed of over 3500 miles per hour, which is over Mach 4. The GoFast had a solid rocket motor which weighed over 600 pounds and it produced over 16,000 pounds of thrust. But aside from producing staggering numbers, it was quite inspiring to see the edge of space from one amateur rocket. But records are always made to be broken and the sky is no longer the limit. So thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel.